Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is RxJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about an operator called from event. From event is an is a creation observable creation operator through which we can create an observable out of an event. To learn more about it, please refer to the previous episode in this particular playlist. Today we are going to learn about interval. What is interval? What are the use cases? How do we use it? And much more. We'll also do some hands-on. Let's get started. This is part nine of the RxJS full tutorial playlist. I'm planning close to 30, 40 tutorials on this particular um, um, series uh, that would help you grow um, all the major operators that are used practically in large scale applications. So stay tuned for this. Please do subscribe and ask your doubts in the comment section. This is the index so far we have covered. Uh, today we are in the ninth episode covering operator number four, which is interval. So what is interval operator? Interval operator creates an observable that emits sequential numbers every specified interval of time on a specified scheduler like. OK, so what this means in simple terms is that there will be use cases. There will be scenarios where you will need a sequential numbers and you want those numbers to be generated after a certain interval of time, right? How do you do that? You can just do interval, right? So when you do set interval in JavaScript, it will do some method or function or steps or do some operations after a certain interval of time. Same way interval will generate a sequential number after a specified interval of time. OK, so let me show you that with hands on example. I'm still using the same RxJS learning component that we created a couple of episodes back. So stay tuned and stay in that particular component for now. All right. So what we are going to do, if you remember, we created a simple observable out of this, right? You see here we created a um, student list and then we created a students observable, right? So what I'm going to do is probably use this to just to display. OK, it's only for the display purpose. So I'm going to write students. Again, uh, this is a bad example because I always tell everybody to follow. Um, if it's an observable, always try to add dollar sign in front of it. So that's uh, unique. Uh, that's a coding standard that is followed in majorly large enterprises. By looking at it, you know that this is a observable. Right, so I'm going to use this as a reference. So I'm going to use. So I'm just going to just print that. Nothing fancy. Dot subscribe and data. And let's do console log and say data. And again, um, a lot of um, you have been reaching out to me in emails also that I'm just doing console log for most of this data or binding it in the template. As we progress in the series, I will try and write real time use cases which will connect with Angular. So you would see all of this data, whatever operators we are learning, we will use them in practical way with Angular application. But this is only for initially learning. So I'm using console logs. Stay with me, follow this particular series, and I'll make you an expert in RxJS operators. All right, that being said, what I'm doing here, just orders, and I'm just doing a console log. OK, let's refresh, save it, and go back to our application and open console log and have to go to that route. I, which I believe was RxJS learning, if I'm not wrong. OK. So you would see we are printing all the orders, right? That is orders dollars, which is here. From the orders array, we are creating using from operator. And we are creating that observable. And we are just looping and subscribing to that observable to print the data. Now let's add the interval operator right inside this particular subscription now. All right. So what we are saying is we want sequential data that needs to go along with this particular data that we print. OK, that's my use case. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to say const, right? Um, this is again, it can be any name. So a lot of people have also asked me that should I follow the same names as you are following? Again, I already I always encourage people to start using any names that they like. OK, so do not think that names are something that you should use what I'm using. The best thing about that is when you make that thing, even if you make mistake, you will only end up learning 
of how these um, errors and those things work okay so that being said uh, let's just focus here so I'm going to use the interval method which it says that it you have to pass a period and scheduler if you want to schedule but right now we are not scheduling so we are just passing the time that after every um, num no, gender or sequential sequence number observable equal to so now what this will do I told you interval if you take the mouse over it will tell you that creates an observable that emits sequential numbers after every specified interval type okay so now this is a sequence so what I'm going to do I'm going to subscribe it say number okay and number and we are going to console log and probably it's a good idea to club them and see what it looks like okay so see what we have a all observable which we have subscribed and inside that we are generating a no sequential number observable it's an observable of type number sequence numbers after every 500 milliseconds it will generate a number and we are appending both and displaying them let's see the output it will keep on going see mobile household right so it will keep on generating those numbers for you right so there is a way to stop it that is take how many you want to stop after that right so or you can put a condition say if num is less than five right do this okay so now you will see that it will do three four and it stops because we put a condition that it should be less than five right but ideally you would always do something like a unsubscribe okay whenever you subscribe you have to unsubscribe probably on ng on delete uh, sorry ng on destroy or etc but you see the point here that whenever if you see here zero one two three four right so these are sequential numbers that you are generating okay and let's say I increase it to 1000 now see it there will be a delay right see so now I'm going to increase it and make it just so this is just take the mouse over it will say period it which is a number right and interval returns an observable let's just quickly check the documentation right so 1000 milliseconds right so we might want to increase that if you want to delay right just increase it so now it's not coming because it will wait for those many seconds and then display one okay I think we gave too many too much <laughs> like we don't want to wait that many seconds so I'm just going to make it 20,000 that should be quick relatively still that is also too much just do 2,000 okay so there you go so there will be a delay based on two seconds right every two seconds like almost or so so all right so it will show till four and stop so this is a sequential number so what are the use cases so if you are dealing with certain data which is coming um, you want to generate unique IDs for the values that you want to display in the UI or you want to have something something like a unique identifier you want to form for a particular HTML element so these are the use cases where you can use the interval operator okay uh, as we as you see now we are we have started to club multiple things together going forward also we'll start adding more operators together the best way to learn with me is to start coding let me know if you have any doubts as always I'll welcome them in the comment section I'll try and help you as much as I can all right so that is all about interval that's relatively quick and fast tutorial today uh, in the next episode I'm going to cover debounce time that's one of the most frequently used ones when you're working with real-time applications so I'll cover that so stay tuned for that 
If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much in advance. I'll see you in the next episode.